Let's look at the options you have for manipulating rows and columns. You can find some of these options underneath the insert menu, but I'm going to show you most of these by the right click option. So to insert a row above row 3 here, I'm going to right click on the 3 and choose insert one above. If you know you need to insert several rows, you can highlight several rows and now notice when I right click, my option says to insert seven above. Columns work the same way. So let's highlight two columns. And you'll notice you just have the same option to insert two left, two right. Also to delete, delete would actually remove the columns completely. If I choose clear, it's going to just clear the content of those two columns. Let's undo that real quick. The other option you saw that we have is to hide the columns. This is sometimes helpful when you have a lot of data. So notice now column D and E are missing. If I want to bring that data back visual, I just left click on the arrow and now those two columns have returned. You also see the option here to resize your columns. So if you click on this option, you can put in manually the size that you want. You can also click on the fit to data size, which would automatically make them as large as the longest line of content. So let's just do this option first. Now you'll notice that they are much smaller. To manually resize, you would put your cursor in between two columns. You see this double arrow. You just left click and drag to the size that you want. If you want the column to automatically resize to the largest cell of content, you double click. Now you can see this column has resized itself to the width of the longest content within one of the cells. To change the width of all your cells at one time, you can click on the select all cell in the upper left hand corner and then bring your cursor in between. See the double arrow and you drag and now you see it makes all the columns that exact same size. You can do that same feature by just selecting a few columns, resizing one of them and it makes those columns you chose the same size. The same feature works for rows as well. If we select all and we resize one of these rows, you can see it makes all of our rows that same height. So let's undo that really quick. One other option with cells and rows I'm going to show you on a different sheet here. There might be times that you want to insert some cells within, let's say, this column, but you don't want to insert entire rows. So I can come here and let's say I want to be able to put a couple cells above this $5.50. So I can highlight these three cells, right click, and now notice instead of insert three rows, I'm going to come down to where it says insert cells. So do I want to shift it right or down? You make that choice. So I'm going to shift down. So you can see it did not move any of the content in column A. All it did was add three cells in this column C. You might find there are times that that is helpful to do. Maybe you even want to delete some of these empty cells, but you want to keep these rows where they're at. So same thing. You highlight those three cells, right click, and instead of choosing the delete rows or columns, you come to delete cells, and then you choose, do you want the cells to shift left or up? And we're going to choose up, and now our content is right back where we had it without affecting any of the other columns of information on this sheet.